Hello my loves, I'm Andrea and welcome to Life As I Know It. Today we have some fun and easy DIYs for Easter. We're going to do the wooden bunnies, the Easter egg, and the chick. So get your ribbons, some flour, and glue and let's jump right into it. I'm going to take our wooden bunny from the dollar store and I got the contact paper from Hobby Lobby and I believe it was 79 cents with 50% off. So all we're going to do is trace the bunny on the back side of the paper and cut it out. Now that we have the cut out, I'm just going to take the Elmer's glue stick and put a good amount of glue all over the wooden bunny. Now, you can use Mod Podge if you want, or you can use wooden glue. But I think this went down really easy, and it stayed, and it was no lumps on the paper. Now, like I said, all the paper that I'm using to cover the um, items I got from Hobby Lobby, and it was 79 cents a sheet with 50% off. This ribbon right here I got from the dollar store, and it was a part of their Easter collection. So I'm just going to make our colorful bunny a bow tie. Now you take the ribbon and you decide how big you want your bow. And remember, we just take it, fold it. I don't measure it out. But you can, you can do a six, you can do an eight, you can do a 12 inch bow. I flipped the bow over four times and then I cut it and just, just tied it. Now I'm just going to fluff it out. Remember, it's your color and it's your size of how big you want your bow to be. You can also add ribbon on top of this ribbon. But I just thought this was such a pretty color by itself and that the bunny already had enough color. And so I just wanted to snap that purple out because for Easter, I am going to do purple as my color. Well, at least one of my colors as my statement color, I guess I would say, because I do have a lot of, I have white and gray. So like I said, whatever color you want, you use because this is going into your home and it's your decor. So we're just going to put a little glue on the back of this bow and we're going to attach it to our bunny. And then that is the end of this DIY. Well, I used the same method to cover the rest of our uh, wooden items. And I'm just going to take this um, ribbon from the dollar store. Now, you don't have to put the hot glue on here. I realized after I did that, you really don't. All you have to do is put the two pieces together, push down on the middle, and get your twine or ribbon, whatever you're going to tie around the bow, and just wrap it around a couple times and then just tie it and cut off the excess ribbon. Now I'm just going to take and put a little glue on the back of our bow and attach it to our bunny and we are done with this DIY. I thought I was recording when I was um, decorating this bunny, but what I did was I took three of the foam flowers that we had from Valentine's Day. 
and I got some leaves and just cut the leaves. I placed them on the um, bunny and then I hot glued the leaves and the flowers as a crown for the bunny. And then I just took some of that same purple ribbon that we had from the other bunny and just tied it, twisted it one time and just placed it right on the bunny. And then now I'm ducktailing the the end of the ribbons just to give it a little mm. And that is really all I did for this DIY. Very easy and very fun. As I looked at the bunny, I said, you know what? He needed a little something else. So I took some twine, the colorful twine that we got from the dollar store, wrapped it in between my two fingers and made a little bow by just wrapping the end of ribbon around it. And then I'm just gonna add some glue and attach it on top of our little bow that we already had. Now I got these paints from Walmart. They're the Apple Barrels. This um, paint, they were 79 cents. They do have different prices on their paint, so just be mindful of that. I'm going to use the blue to be the base and put a cover the egg at least twice with the blue paint before we go on to adding another color. Now that our egg is dry, we're going to take some painter's tape and we're going to put it across how we're going to make our strikes across the egg. Now, if you want thinner strikes, just cut the um, tape in half or you can use washi tape since they always, they're thin strips. Like I said, it depends on how thin you want your stripes on your egg. Now I'm going to take our second color and I'm going to use that to paint the wood that is exposed. Don't worry about getting paint on the tape because we are going to take the tape off. Now, you can add as many colors as you want, because like I said, go back, cover up the spots that you want, don't want to paint. Use the um, washi tape, put that down, and you can continue to put as many colors as you want on your item. Now, 
once you're satisfied with your color, then just let it dry and then we'll just take the tape off. I decided just to go with one color. So what we're gonna do is take this flower that we got from the dollar store and we're gonna separate from the stem and then we're gonna use the greenery as the base for our, our flower arrangement. Now we're just going to take the granary, we're going to place it on our egg and just decide to it down. place it and then we're just going to start hot gluing it down. So I wanted to add as much greenery from this flower as I possibly could. So I took the other pieces and just cut them in half and then I'm going to lay them down on top of our other greenery. That's me. She said it in hell. Um, what she say? She um, must have somebody behind her. Once we have all our greenery in place, we're going to put our egg aside and we're going to work on a bow. I took and cut several pieces of ribbon so I used the wider ribbon as the base and then I just piled on from there so you want the base to be the longest piece of your ribbon and then you can go from there far as the length but I think the base should definitely be the longest piece and then I just cut up skinny pieces and just add everything crisscross and then you're gonna take one long piece and that'll be the piece that you're going to use to tie this all together. So like I said, we're going to take that long piece. We're going to tie it around our ribbon, knot it in the back. And it also becomes a part of our bow. So here we're just going to fluff it out. And once we have our ribbon fluffed out the way we want, we're just going to go ahead and cut the edges of the ribbon. And then we're just going to add some glue to the back of our bow and attach it to our greenery. Now, once we have our bow attached, if you feel as though you need to go back and cut some more edges, that is fine. And once you're done with that, that is the end of this DIY. And here are the ribbons I used. They all came from the dollar store. So the majority of them are from the Easter collection. Now we did the chick the same way that we did the Easter egg. Only difference is we used paper. And we also took some flour and wrapped it around his bow. Now, if you would like your wooden pieces to stand up, you can just take the tumbling blocks from our game and we just glue them to the back. So I'm going to take one piece and lay it flat on the back of the feet of the chick. And then I'm going to take another piece and lay it on top of that piece, but lay it flat against the board. And that'll give you the weight that you need for your chick to stand up on its own. <laughs> Now for the bunny, we did it the same way we did with the chick. We put one tumbling block down, we placed the other one on top, and then we took in between there, we added another piece so we could lean back 
and that's how we're going to be able to get our bunnies to stand up now with the egg we did the exact same thing i put the pieces on the side but then i realized that that didn't work so i just did it the way i did the bunny and it worked out fine Well, my loves, that is the end of our DIY using wooden items for Easter from the Dollar Tree. As always, thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. You are truly appreciated. Leave me a comment, like, let me know which one was your favorite. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so every time I upload a video, you will be notified. I know Easter is literally up the block and it's coming, but these are last minute items that you can do to add to your decor. Have a blessed day. Remember, it costs nothing to be kind. And I will see you in our next video.